Wait a, a few seconds. What is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be doing another live unboxing. This is day three of seven days of unboxings. So we're gonna be uh, opening up the Frigo F1 Pro. So this is like, a, supposedly it's got a 1400 watt peak. I think it's a 750 watt, 48 volt, like electric moped style bike. But uh, we're gonna open this up, check it out and see what it's all about. And uh, supposedly you can unlock the speed on it to make it like Americanized speed, I guess. So uh, let's uh, see who's all in the chat. I wanna say hi to everybody. D, my beautiful, wonderful, uh, I don't know, co-host. Back in the garage today, guys. Back in the garage, yeah, this box is too heavy to actually pick up and bring inside and it has staples on, on the bottom, so we're gonna do this. Out here, it's starting to get cold again. It was a beautiful day today. I actually did uh, the review on that Nomad 1 from uh, Velotrick. 78 degrees today, it was so nice. I can't believe it's November 7th and 78 degrees up in Northeast here in Delaware. So how are you guys doing? How are you guys enjoying your Monday? So Brian McCann's What's in the up? chat. Brian McCann. Steve Sandra, 007. What up? Howdy. Emilio Saquero. Hey, Emilio. Howdy. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Sandalorian. What's up, Sando? Super 33, Mike SD, Peter hey. Walls, Hobie. There he is. I'm going to see I you know. soon, brother. We need to. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen soon. Now it's gonna get really cold, so I don't know if I wanna be out here painting. But before we get started on this live unboxing, if you guys wanna support the channel, check out all those links down below, but check out the link for the F1, uh, for the Frigo F1 Pro. You can get $100 off if you use code SHREDDY, but if no bike over a Frigo is for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. We also have Rito Garcia, What's Amelia up, Rito? Sapporo, Don What's Bug, up? Eric What's up? Gardner. What's up? Damn, everybody's in here. What's going on? I'm gonna start ripping up this box a little bit because it's got uh, staples, and you guys know how much I love these staples. They got it like glued and stapled down. It's like every day is Christmas for Shreddy. On the third day of Christmas. Everyone's saying what's <laughs> up. Shreddy and D, what's up you guys? Hope you're doing good, Anaconda hugs. What's up, Anaconda? <laughs> Matt the mechanic. What up? He said, what's up my mechanics? <laughs> what's up my mechanics? Man, look at that. That's dangerous. You see that, D? Yeah. That's dangerous, right? All right, so anyways, there's none on this side, so I'm gonna flip over to the safe side here. Get this. Look, more foam. Dude, hopefully the uh, they emptied the recycling trash today because it is stuffed to the brim with electric bike boxes. <laughs> but I did break down the other box pretty well, actually. Oh, okay. This one has a through axle, too. I'm so glad Mike Feedy taught me how to work one of these. Should I come see? Yeah, I'll show you guys. I'll probably lean it down and pull it out like I normally do. My solo unboxings. Oh, oh my God. This is a pretty heavy box, guys. Brian McCann, open the box with a chainsaw. I wish I had a chainsaw. That's like one thing I've always wanted for like the longest time. Bike made out of foam, LOL. Whoa, what was that? They had that strap in. <laughs> I had no clue. That's crazy. Something just shot over Put that there. there. <laughs> Let's see how much uh, struggling with shreddy we do today on this thing. Uh, looks like the tire's on the side there. I'm wondering if I should just pull it straight out. You could read any uh, comments or questions that people may have. Oh, I see a charger here, another foam little dilly. That's probably for my charger. So have you guys heard of Frigo before? It's so like yeah, this is the new F1 Pro. I'm pretty sure this came out pretty recent. Their other one not, it doesn't have like full suspension like this does. They said a mini chainsaw, $50 Walmart has one. Dude, I wonder if I could pull this up. Heck no, that's that's pretty heavy. That's a heavy bike. All right. Uh, Cut the front of the box. Open. Uh, hmm. I probably will. Let me just lay it down. Eric Gardner said, "Who's got the Powerball ticket for tonight?" How, how much is it for? I know it's like a lot, like an insane amount. Actually, should I should I cut the front of the box? I don't even know where my <laughs> razor blade went, guys. Rito Garcia, Dan, what do you have in those Eve-like sugar mamas? <laughs> I'm laying it down. 
Super 73. Mike, how many bikes do you have now? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Let's just say a lot. Let's say a lot. Starting to get like uh, confused of which charger goes with what, but luckily a lot of chargers kind of work with each other. Oh, and one thing I found out is that the Nomad one and the uh, other Velotrick actually like you can interchange batteries, so that's pretty cool. All right, so that's the back of the frame. Oh, the suspension looks all right. Okay, start looking at things. Oh, look where they put the charger. Oh, okay. So charger, let's see what it is. I'm, I'm thinking three amp, uh, yep, three amp charger. I wonder if we can use the Grin Technologies charger and charge it at five amps. I have to figure out what fuse is in that battery. More styrofoam. I, I'm guessing this is where the battery used to live. <laughs> All right. How many bikes you got? A lot. How many steers you got? A lot. A How ton. many dead batteries do you got? A bunch. A lot. <laughs> A bunch. Okay. Oh man. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. We're gonna use butt. Okay. Oh, my undies <laughs> down. Sorry. <laughs> my undies out. All right. Steve, Ow. Sandra, any bike manufacturers including solar panels yet? Oh, that would be cool. Any e-bike manufacturer making solar panels Including yet? Including solar panels yet, like for charging? That would be pretty dope. My friend, uh, White Mike, he carries a, a little solar panel thing that he charges his bikes with on the go. It's pretty neat. So that's that. I'm just going to cut everything off. I'm getting uh, to be a professional at these like undressings of e-bikes. Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> Undressing, not uh, not the buildings. Oh my God! See, look. Not allowed to ask that, Brian. Just kidding. <laughs> he said, "Ask, don't ask how many girlfriends Shorty has." Ah. Oh no. His girlfriends are his e-bikes. <laughs> nice. So what's this? Twenty by four, little knobby tires, or kind of like beach tires, <laughs> fat tires. That's it. A lot. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. Slam dunk. All right. Hold up. Where, where are the pedals and stuff? Rita Garcia, if I win the Powerball, I'm moving you guys to Los Angeles so we shred the West Coast. <laughs> I'll come. Yes, please. Yeah, get us out of here for the winter. <laughs> We're running out of room. Too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was so nice, hot out. Now we have to bundle up. This is some crazy, in. crazy packaging. Son DeLorean, what is the e-bike? I like it already. This is the Frigo F1 Pro. I do dig the frame. Um, it almost looks like the Bomber Marv Special, that BMS bike that he built up with this kind of almost same looking frame style. Uh, maybe after the review, we can get this thing uh, up to par with the Bomber Marv Special. This thing looks cool. Uh, so far, I'm definitely digging what we see so far. I like the color, I like the matte black. What's a little scratched up on the frame, but that's what okay. What style e-bike is it? I want to say this is kind of like a moped style e-bike, but they claim it to be like a electric mountain bike style e-bike but I don't agree with that. Fender. We'll find out when you put it together. <laughs> yep. More parts, more parts. Brian, does Shreddy name his e-bikes? No, not yet. <laughs> I, I named my, uh, my one wheels though. I think uh, Zombie Tank and Zombie Tank Jr. <laughs> What's all this stuff in here? He named our um, shark room bot vacuum thingy, ankle biter, and a night stalker. He's a night stalker. Oh. Anaconda, cut those tie wraps in the right spot so you can repurpose them on your camping trips. Hold on, where? What? The what? The tie straps. Oh. I got so many of those. Dude. <laughs> This is so long. <laughs> Struggling with Shreddy. How the heck? Yeah, Emilio, it, there are a lot of bikes. We need more room. <laughs> Definitely. Or I need to start renting out some e-bikes in the summer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, D. <laughs> cool. What? The saddle actually looks pretty comfortable. That is dope. 
I dig that. Let's see what's in here. I have no freaking clue. Oh, the pedals and everything. Oh, that's cute. And that's like integrated into the frame. That's freaking awesome. I had no clue this had this. So it's definitely a surprise. That is awesome. Okay, so here are all the tools. So that's pretty cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you'll be able to keep your phone in there and anything you need. Actually, just throw your tools back in there. All right, I'll wait on the tools. I'm still unwrapping. This is fun. Any comments, any questions I can read? Is this the bigger brother to the DK200? Yep, and this just came out pretty recently. I actually haven't been able to find any videos on this. Supposedly this is locked out to like 15 miles an hour, but it's, uh, there's like a trick to possibly unlock this. I'll see if it works with this one. What is your um, discount code for Frigo? If you guys want $100 off and you want to purchase before my review video is out, use code SHREDDY. Get 100 bucks off! Woo -hoo. SHREDDY with an I-E. S-H-R-E-D-D-I-E. It's a full moon out here, guys. Yeah. Look up at the sky if you can see it. There's going to be a um, full moon, blood moon eclipse. I think it's uh, at 8 a.m. Today or, or tomorrow? Tomorrow morning. That's awesome. Or 6 a.m. Well, look at this battery. I think it's huge, what the heck? I think it's like a 22 amp hour battery. We'll see, I'll get the specs here in a second. Um, and I have no clue what the top speed is when we unlock it, so we'll see. We'll see about that in the review video too. Looks like they put on the back fender for me, so that was very nice of them. The seat seems like it's not gonna be too bad. It looks squishy. I'm, I'm interested in the, the comfiness of it. Yeah, it's nice it has that little container. I'm gonna move this Put forward. your keys and phone in. I like how this stands up like this by itself while I'm yeah, un that's nice. unwrapping it. Steve hey, that Sandra needs so wall cool. or ceiling mount kits to hang bikes from. Yeah, I do. There's a few brands out there that I've seen that ha have them, and one of them you can kind of like turn them like, like books or something or Oh no, it's pretty cool. They won't make the wall fall down? <laughs> no, you drill them into the studs. Send any links to uh, Shreddy's Instagram or Facebook if you see any. Keys are right here. What the heck is Silver's that? World, you should sell a few bikes. What if we do a Shreddy's Rentals <laughs> at the beach? Yeah, he's definitely gonna need to sell. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of some for, for sure very soon. It's getting to be crazy. You know what we should do? Like all of us influencers get together and get all, all of our e-bikes that we want to get rid of and like start a shop, some kind of used e-bike shop where we like mod them for you and stuff. <laughs> no warranty, but we can mod it to go 80 miles an hour. What are you doing now? I'm getting uh, the handlebars off. I'm just still undressing this thing. Or at least you guys can maybe kind of see the, the rest of my e-bikes behind me. That's probably like a cool thing about it. And then we still have, what, three three e-bikes to uh, unbox. A Hobsco, a Van Powers, and an Engway. <laughs> Zombie 13, pimp my e-bike. <laughs> <laughs> right. Greg Savage, what does this bike list out for MSRP? It is actually not badly priced. I think it's like, what did I say earlier, like 13? Uh, 15 99 $16.99, but yeah, if you use code SHREDDY, 100 bucks off, so that's not bad at so all. $15.99, yeah, that's a good yeah. price for an electric moped. Mm-hmm. It has like a technical support number on the side for Frigo USA. If you guys want to call this number right now, it's 213-640-6010. <laughs> There's like all these yellow stickers on there. We're going to have to like get a little heat gun and get them all off of there. Richard R., SHREDDY's doing a bike giveaway soon. Stay <laughs> tuned. That is a good idea. Let's get me to like... When, when should we do it? Like 20K? 50K? 100K? Matt the Mechanic, what size forks are those? Uh, I will read all the specs on this bike once we're done the, the install. But if you guys do want to check out the specs, you can go to, I think it's Frigo USA. Uh, FrigoBikes.com. F-R-E-E-G-O. Bikes.com. Amelia said it looks like Christmas. I don't know. They're supposed to be 
a front headlight somewhere for this bike? Because I see, uh, Check here's, in the box. here are the mounts. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> let me see. Uh, hold on, let me check like in these things. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a box up here. Oh, yeah, I forgot a box. Hold on, no, no, we're good. Because it has that through axle or... There's uh, another box. Here we go. <laughs> I hid it for myself. Why would I do that? All right. Oh, hold on. I'm still on, on snapping things. Ah, the chain came off. What in the world? Guys, remember if that ever happens and your bike is on and pedal assist is on, it's gonna, it, it, something bad's gonna happen. So always turn your bike off before you slap a chain back on there if pedal assist is on. Cause man, that would be brutal. Brutal Matt, pain. Matt said a toey, Emilio Socorro said nice bike. Thank you, Emilio. Zombie 13, it's a blood moon. Ow. Yes, it is. Are you guys waking up to see it? Ow, ow, ow. Super 73 Mike SD, does Shaw ever still shred? Missing in action. He does, but he's getting he's getting pretty big in the in the sneakerhead world. So he's actually in New York right now. He's here on the East Coast with me, but not with me, but kind of with me because he's on the East Coast instead of the West Coast. But yeah, he's he's doing pretty good. Fresh kicks Chris. Look him up, guys. Buy some shoes from him. You know Bubba what I didn't bring? What's up, my brother? Bubba, what's going on? Thanks for joining. Captain Another night. One Eye Willie. Holy cow, Patties. I made it to a shreddy live vid. Hey. <laughs> Who is that? Captain One Eye Willie. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> good name, good name. Oh, there's the headlight. Okay, I wonder how bright this sucker is. Paul Christensen, that's a cool bike. Very different style than the Super 73. Yeah, not badly priced. And if we'll see when, when I do the review, we'll see if it, if it com compares and maybe we can wheelie this thing. I can pretty much wheelie the, the Velatric Nomad 1, so that's, that's pretty fun. A little ca cable management. Captain One-Eyed Willie said, looks like a pretty legit rear fender. Uh-oh, there's, there's stuff, guys. There's things. But you know what? There, I, ha, I didn't even see an instruction manual, so... We got oh, some, yeah. some brackets and some, some bolts and nuts and... That is the first time a rear fender's been on a bike pre-assembled. Yeah, we, we just have the front fender to put on ourselves. Um, but yeah, we got like... Looks like some mounts for something. We'll put all that up here so I don't lose it. Super 73 that Mike SD, you should do a lineup of all your bikes and scooters. Yeah, definitely. That would be a lot of fun, for sure. He definitely That's needs to have to the do, room. <laughs> yeah, he needs to do like a video that shows like all of them, maybe. That way, yeah, you guys can see like everything like, I have. Like to fastest, to just to break down the different styles for you guys. And so you guys know which one would be your favorite. Who would like to see a video like that? So we got some hydraulic disc brake. Looks like they're like two piston. Oh, which I forgot to mention in the Lyric Graffiti video, I accidentally said dual piston. The Lyric Graffiti has four piston hydraulic disc brakes. I should probably write that in the comments. All right, I need tools. I should use the Frigo tools. Oh, they right. send tools? Yeah, nice. right here. And I'll, put, I'll probably put them right back in there in case I need them. Paul Postal, I just caught wind of this bike an hour ago and I'm digging it. Yeah, so far, like, I'm, I'm really impressed at the price. And everything feels solid. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's a steel frame. It's not aluminum. That's, why, that's probably why the box was pretty heavy. But steel is strong. Ooh. 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 I need a water. Hold on. Rick said, yo, what's good for you? Rick! When are you going to come down with that beast of a bike? Super 73 Mike SD, how are you doing wheelies on the Surons? I, I'm still doing the power wheelies. I'm scared to, to get them straight up, but on, on the Super, I'm pretty, pretty good. I can get them like straight up and go really slow and start speeding up, slow down. Like, I'm getting pretty good. And I recently started learning how to kind of turn a little bit and keep straight on like sideways roads and stuff. So I'm gonna try to bring that all to uh, the Suron. Oh, here's the instruction manual. Sorry, that came with the tools. 
He's gonna do a little how-to video of how to do wheelies, and um, you were doing wheelies on the Lyric too, the Lyric Cycles graffiti video that just aired this past Sunday. Yep. And then I think we'll, we'll probably release the Tyson Beckford bike maybe Wednesday. I think we'll do Wednesday. Tyson Beckford electric motorbike. Okay, so it doesn't really tell me anything about what those uh, brackets were for. I'm guessing it's to mount the headlight or something, but we'll see. I'll have to just look at a picture of the bike. So right now I'm just gonna mount the handlebars. Any questions? Rick said, I got a lot of people in Smyrna looking for bikes. This looks like a good option, even for me. I have yeah. to dump my Zugo Rhino. And I'm wondering uh, where the controller is, seeing if we can get an XT60 and extend it somewhere and add another battery here in the frame somewhere. Or maybe slap a rack and add another battery on there. Rick, and it's a great price too. Where is the controller? It's under here. Use code, what is it, Shreddy for yep. $100 Use off? Use code Shreddy, 100 bucks off. I'm just seeing where everything goes. I bet you there's an XT60 or something in here that I can get like a Y splitter. Or... Yeah, we, we can do something with that, I'm pretty sure. Captain One Eyed Willie, the graffiti looks pretty dope. It's a fun one. That one's actually fun to wheelie. I can wheelie that one pretty easy. They just gotta swap the brakes for me when they send me mine. Hopefully they do they do that for me. That'd be dope. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite video of his so far. I love the It's Beatles. cause we got a professional yeah. cinematographer come to take all my awesome action shots shots. <laughs> yes, it was awesome. I loved it. But yeah, he, he took awesome, awesome footage. Alex was awesome. He's still out on the tour. They were in Tennessee pretty recently. On the way to Texas, yep. Tennessee, Tennessee. All right, have you guys going to the Suron Mega Ride or Electrify Expo in Austin? There we go. Ooh. Matt said, what's the price on this? Uh, $15.99 when you use code Shreddy. Shreddy. I'm gonna leave that down like that. Put one screw in. Rick said it's so heavy, I'm trying to get a better bike rack. Oh, your Zugo? No, he's got a bomber oh. that goes like 80 miles an hour. I'm sorry, someone else had a Zugo. Yeah. No, he does. Oh, Z I thought he had a... He uh... said I have a lot of people in Smyrna looking for bikes. This looks like a good option, even for me. I have to dump my Zugo Rhino. Oh, uh, okay. I'm, I think I'm getting the Ricks confused. And I know a Rick that has a, like an 80 mile an hour bomber bike. Lebonski, which one is better to buy, the DK1200 or this F1? If you want your biscuits to love you, probably this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new model, so new models are always good. <laughs> and he, he'll do a review and... First ride, speed that. test, jumps, climbing, all that fun. All that fun, fun. There we go. Zombie 13, my CTY2 weighs 145 pounds. Oh, wow. What's the CTY2 again? That one's a step through, uh, Onyx. Okay. And what's, a, what's the top speed on that bike, by the way? I haven't, I haven't really read into that bike too much. Captain One-Eyed Willie got more Zeus videos lined up for us. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm waiting for them to send me the newer ones. I'm interested to see what the difference is in the controllers. Um, and they also said the throttle curve is a little bit different. Uh, so I'd love to test out the newer models to see what they're all about. Also, check out his Lyric video. It's kind of similar to the Zeus. Check out the Lyric graffiti video we just did on. A little bit, Sunday. but it has suspension in the front. I have the Zeus too, I love it. Popping candlebars back there. <laughs> And a kind of hug. Do a headlight showdown and line them up in the driveway with the headlights on in order of see which brightness ones the to dimmest. My Suron wins every time. <laughs> oh, and another good, um, we need to show you guys more. We had it in a few videos, but Wicked Thumb gave Shreddy headlights that work on the Wicked Thumb electric bike. They work on Aero Rider. They work on Super 73, and they're awesome looking. They come in chrome, matte black, copper, and they're a bright, nice um, bike light. What's your discount Use code? Use code SHREDDY, and that's 5% off. 
So code SHREDDY saves you 5% off at Wicked Thumb, and it'll integrate with your bike. And if you want to save uh, money on an e-bike from Wicked Thumb, it's SHREDDY100 for 100 bucks off. Rick got a second bomber coming for the wife. Oh. I need a bike this, though, for when I'm at the park and doesn't look super aggressive and draw okay, attention so I wasn't from the rangers. Okay, so I wasn't bomber. confused. I wasn't confused. Good, good, good. Oh, so yeah, he wants a more incognito bike. I felt very incognito on my uh, on that Velotrick today on the trails. I was like just pedaling, a little step through e-bike. People are loving it. Lebonski, how fast does this bike go? I don't know. It actually it says 15 miles an hour. What? But it's locked, and there's possibly a way to unlock it. I just got to figure out if uh, the way I saw works on this one. I saw that the uh, the model before this has a way to unlock it. So I'm sure he'll so show that. So hopefully it's the, the same. I'll do it now. I'll do it now and I'll show it on the review too. That way, because I'm really curious to see. Am I going to be locked at 20 miles an hour? This definitely looks like a bike that would go faster than 50 miles an hour. Yeah, and then they claim 1400 watt peak. But, I mean, 750 watt motor should at least go like 28 to 30. Retro Electro. Hey, Shreddy. What's up, Retro? I wonder what controller they have in there. A lot of companies really don't like saying that. Rick, yep, I have a Zugo and a Bomber. I'm going to keep the handlebars like that. Oh, I didn't even see what kind of throttle this thing has. Where's the throttle? You see a throttle D? Throttle D. Is there a you, throttle? <laughs> if you guys want me to zoom in on anything he's doing, just let me know. Shreddy don't see a throttle. Oh, that's because it's a half twist throttle. Okay, that's pretty cool. I love fools, I love halves. That's cool. I like that. I'm pretty sure it's pretty easy to I swap think that's out if you want like pressing a button. some throttle. Baba Shitty, I have the 80 mile an hour bomber. Yep, yep. Bring it, bring it to Delaware. There we go. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Prime McCann. Your feedback is appreciated. Now pay eight dollars, Elon. Eight dollars. Oh, for your uh, for there your blue check mark. There were some funny memes on that. Retro Electro. Oh God, Brian. Well, <laughs> Zombie Thirteen. I hit fifty-five miles an hour. Damn, get it. I told you Bomber Marv built up his uh, Ravel Ringo to go like, I forget what he said, 61 he hit or 71 or, he hit something crazy. We'll, we'll bring that on the channel soon. You know, he builds the best m crazy e-bikes. Rick, yeah, my bomber hits close to 80 miles per hour and I have a Zugo Rhino. The hardtail on That's long insane. rides is terrible. 80 miles an hour. That's just, whew. When I was riding around last night going like 60 on the Suron, it just feels so crazy fast when your bike is that silent. Um, Shreddy, the um, guy you know that makes seats, does he make them for Zugo? Actually, I have no idea. I can hit him up and see if he'll start making them for Zugo. Or maybe if he has something where he could uh, maybe send one out that he could modify for you. Yeah, Eddie has a, um, a guy that makes seats for him that makes them a lot more comfortable. He OC gets, Cafe uh, Racer. Yeah. Yep. OCCafeRacer.com. Check him out. You can always send Shreddy a message on Facebook or Instagram, and he can send you his information. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any kind of discount codes because he actually makes these by hand himself. He doesn't have anybody else help him. So there's always, like, a, a wait time, too. Zombie, I couldn't ride hardtail. I wouldn't be able to walk the next day. Boink. Okay, remember how we did this yesterday? Got to do it the same way today. <laughs> All right, move that out the way. Uh, get this. Pull this guy off. Brian Boom. McCann, I want to see Shreddy go on the trails on the Varlet Eagle One 40 mile an hour scooter. Dude, that scooter rips. That thing is fast. But yeah, we'll take it out on the trails. Brian, he just, uh, millimeters. he just put out his um, first round review oh, of the true. Varlet Eagle One Pro 45 mile an hour scooter. What, yesterday? Yep. There's a new video on that you can check out. He took it on all terrains. Hmm. Gino Delizo, 50 miles an hour, maybe a typo. I'm sure Shreddy will get it to go faster and show you guys. Oh. 
Richard R., I'll take a steel frame over a chai aluminum any day. I think I want to flip this. I always flip the bikes, make it easier. Rick said 50 pound hours definitely sounds like a typo, LOL. What are Go. you doing now? Go. I'm going to flip the bike upside down because it's so much easier to put the tire on. Like, a lot of people like just lifting up the front of the bike and then slide in the tire like in like that. But let's hope I don't break anything. I'm just going to twist those down a little bit. The display. Fender's probably broken now, but that's okay. There we go. It's okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. Fender's good. We're good. We're good. There. All right, tire. Any questions, guys? Comments, questions? All right. Slide it in like a gentleman. There we go. Good job. That was fast. I'm definitely going to have to align. Ooh. I hope my rotor isn't bent. Might have a slightly bent rotor, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll try to align it up. And see, I'm not really like well versed in these things and <laughs> I'm not sure how tight you should do it. But uh, when Mike Feedy told me, he said you, it shouldn't be like super duper tight. But like in my head, I'm like, should I just like just tighten it up as tight as I can get it? All right. Steve Sandra said, I'm really not impatient, but someone needs to donate some power tools to you. <laughs> Hook it up, hook it up. Hey, you guys can always send super chats. They always help out the channel. I could always Maybe buy, get us some paint buy some new tools, right? Some tools. tools and paint. Super Star 3 Mike SD, he definitely needs power tools. I'm like the, I don't know. I just have the least amount of tools out of everybody I know. It's so hilarious. Oh, Gino said OC Cafe Racer just got my seat from them. Freaking awesome. Six weeks, but well worth it. Oh yeah, that's bent to, to hell. Brian McCann I don't want to grab it. The shreddy begins. <laughs> the 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 uh, the rotor is definitely bent. Oh boy, that's a very very badly run. It's going it's it's going like that. <laughs> Are you able to fix it? They have like this. I gotta go to the bike shop. They have this little tool that can grab. I mean, I could probably grab it myself and bend it. Do You're not need... really supposed to touch these. My hands are kind of greasy, so I'll wait. I'm gonna clean my hands really well and. Or maybe I can get some gloves. So Do I'll leave it like that for now. Matt, the mechanic here. <laughs> uh, no, because I don't know if he has that exact tool. Or I'm probably gonna do the same thing as bend it. Matt, do you have the tool? Actually, let me bring this back a little bit. <clears throat> Rick said the only thing is with power tools, you can accidentally over torque the screws and nuts. That is true. That is true. That's why when I work on my one wheel, you never use power tools. That wasn't good. But anyways. Cool. This bike looks awesome. Oh, it feels pretty cool. I like it. I was just seeing what it would have felt like first. Get that display up. That's awesome. Feels like an almost BMX style bike. It feels like BMX-y with the way the handlebars are. What does it look like to you? Does it look like a moped? What do you guys think it looks like? Yeah, I think it looks like an electric yeah. moped. Looks cool. I might have to uh, It's a good size. work on the rear brake a little bit. That's cool. So it's free go in the frame there. Let's get the pedals on. I like how you can grab the back of the frame like yeah. that here, and like moving around. So that's pretty cool. All right, pedals, pedals, pedals. Oh, and headlight too. We got the headlight on. Maybe I'll have uh, Frigo send me out another rotor. That'd probably be the easiest thing. Paul Postel, is that a 1,000 watt motor with a 52 volt battery? It's actually a 48 volt, and um, it's gotta be like a 750, it looks like a 750 watt. They claim it peaks up to 1,400 watts. Well, we put it in the description. What did we write in the video description? I don't know, you I write them for it me. I thought it was 1,000 that we wrote. Okay, usually on the pedals, it tells you which one's which. All right, this one says R for right. We are ready to 
Rick said, go ahead and order a Magura rotor on Amazon. The one, what is this, a 160 rotor? Yeah, it's a 160. Do you guys want to see what he's doing? I'll, I'll come around on that side and slap the pedal on. I'm just tightening up a little bit. Brian said, grease up the rotor. <laughs> grease it up. Grease Rick, up the Rick rotor. said, check out Powerful Lithium in New Jersey. They make sick custom batteries. All right. Yeah, boy, Mr. Do you think they, they compete them. with Chai? Brian McCann said, it's a Super 73 clone, Cafe Racer. Yeah, right? I mean, this is definitely straight from China, for sure. There you go. You guys know this is my favorite part. I love doing this. <laughs> Just dancing. All right. What do you think about that bag up there? I think it's cool. It's innovative. I've never seen a, a bike that actually comes with its own front trunk frunk or whatever you call it. Oh yeah, it's a front trunk. Front trunk, yeah. That's so cool. So it's got an integrated tail light. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, oh my God, I'm gonna <laughs> struggle man, with shredding. Watch that uh, fender. Front fender, we'll put that on this. Or maybe we just won't. Oh, I like the forks in the front, they look cool. <laughs> I'm gonna stand this up like this. Shredding needs room. <laughs> Right. Rick said, I definitely think they give any other battery builder a run for their money. Baba Shitty, those yellow stickers got to go. Oh, yeah, that, it, that's definitely happening. I, I got to get a, a heat gun because they're pretty thin stickers and they'll end up uh, tearing. All right, so here goes. That's where we're going to mount the light on. I see one connection and it's red, yep. I like stickers on bikes. A lot of people like take them all off and make them all black. I always check all the connectors, make sure there's no color showing, make sure everything's nice and tight. All right, so there's those brackets up here with all those bolts and stuff. You guys might have to help me with this. The brackets. All right, set them down right here. Uh, headlights. Oh, no, no, no. Right. So, where's the picture of the free go? There it is. Bubba okay. Shady said, I like stickers too. I just don't like the caution stickers. They remind me of my stupidity. Oh, he's looking at the directions. Oh, actually, I'm looking at the picture. Oh. <laughs> just look at a picture. I'm still lost. Does this go here? I'm guessing it goes like this. Yep, that goes there. Greg Savage, I'm very impressed with what you're doing. I actually own a motor, motorsport dealership. Oh yeah? Where are you at? That's so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. You got Sauron's there yet? You must, you must. If you have Sauron's, send Eddie a message on Instagram or Facebook. He said, and I'm just starting to take on e-bike lines, do you recommend this for a showroom product? This thing? I don't know yet. Wait till my review comes out. We're gonna have to put put it through the test. I wanna know what it feels like, what the throttle feels like, like the climbing power. I wanna know everything about that thing. Dude, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but I'm, I'm gonna try. Greg, you can send, um, sh send Shreddy a message on Instagram and Facebook and we can let you know what we recommend. Shreddy McSkate on Instagram and Facebook. There we go. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. I'll grab a, the Allen key for that. That's this one. Raphael, what did you say? Raphael. You said it for the fender. What's that? It for the fender. I haven't put it on yet. What? He has, it has a back fender so far, but he does have a front fender. Yeah. On. Steve Saunders room? just spare parts, throw them out. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Christensen, what's the bag in the front of the seat? A front oh, trunk. Oh, yeah, it's like a little front <laughs> trunk. That's where they had like the tools and the pedals. But yeah, it, it's pretty cool. I'll, t I'll turn it to the side and show it to you again. 
um, once I get the, the light mounted. It's cool because it can hold, hold like cell phone keys. Uh, okay, here we go. Matter it. I right, back in the garage. Hey, there he is. What's going on? How you doing today? Dude, he's, he's going to hate me, man. I didn't send your, your toey. It's still sitting in the box in the kitchen, man. I'm, uh, I'm hating myself. I'm sorry, bro. It's coming. It's coming. But as you see, we've been busy editing, making videos, he unboxing. Writing, yeah, he was writing all day, guys. All day today. That's why he's quieter than usual right now. Yeah, I'm actually uh, pretty exhausted. I, What time did I leave today? I came back at 6 p.m. And we have a timeline for all these unboxings, so... Yeah, I'm trying to get them done before the, the big trip to the Sura Mega Ride. If you guys don't know about the Sura Mega Ride, it's happened in the 10th, 11th, no, 11th, 12th, and the 13th. Am I right? Yep, in Houston. <laughs> so much going and on. And you'll be at the Electrify Expo in Austin. Okay, the... Brian Diddy. McCann, Shreddy needs that tuck tuck, I tell ya. I don't know what that is. Okay, so... Does it go from the outside like this and inside like this? I guess an outside. Okay. So there's two more bolts left. And there's actually just one of these back bolts that go on to here. So maybe I'd lost one somewhere. There's the bolt. Like this? The nuts. Is okay. it in the box? Or maybe Anyways. in the trunk still? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff over there. Mm, nope, 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 nope. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. So I definitely need that. Rick said I keep my spare parts, lol, just in case, or I can use them on a different bike in an emergency. Dude, I hope I can find the other, uh... oh, there it is, there it is, yeah! I found it, it's here. Boom. Matter it said, ha ha ha, I can never hate you, don't worry. All right, thank you, brother. Brian McCann, Shreddy could do DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub videos. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm pretty sure it goes up for me. A matter of fact, I'll be out of town, so no rush. Nice. All right, all right. Well, wow, Wither Gaming, what's the top speed on that thing? We're going to see. I'm going to see if I can actually unlock it through the display. But in the website, it says 15 miles an hour. But, of course, that's not our speed limits here in America. And he'll also be doing a first ride and review video and a speed test. Yes, yes, I am. Well, he's going to try to unlock it in this video, too, for you guys. Yeah, that way you guys will know how to do it when you get your bike. If you guys do order it before my review's out, you guys are impatient. Make sure you guys use code SHREDDY. Get 100 bucks off your order. That is a cool-looking light, though. Like, it's simple, but it looks cool. I like it. Very simple, but pretty cool. I'm guessing that's the wire management they give us those four. Probably to get that all neat looking. I remember you always line up the little arrows, pop them in like a gentleman, right like that. So I'll probably like put it together like that and wrap up the wires. So far so good. What do you think, <laughs> dude? What do you think? Uh, yeah, that looks ugly right now, but you know, we're gonna clean it up. We got it. We got it. What's next? Oh, the fender, front fender. Does it already come with a notification bell? Yeah, dope. All right, all right. Very nice. Okay, uh, fender bolts. I'm hoping these are it. I'm hoping these are it. Clayton Kirby said shredding Neville. <laughs> <laughs> two, two there. Love it, love it. Oh, a little bit of a struggle, a little bit. Matter it said he might move to Seattle at the end of this month. But it's sleepless there. You won't be in uh, California anymore? What are you doing in Seattle? What's, what's making you do the jump over there? Brian McCann said D, Tuck Tuck or Rickshaw type of vehicle, motorcycle taxi. Ah, okay. <laughs> Did you know that, Eddie? What's that? Tuck Tuck? Uh-uh. 
Freddie did not know. Steve Sandra, first test should be full throttle distance test. Oh, it's happening. We're doing all the tests on this thing. Where is... I want not that one. I want not that one. Matter I said, quiet is okay. Just don't get biscuititis with all <laughs> that riding. <laughs> that won't happen. That won't. This seat actually looks comfortable. There it is. Greg Savage, we're Savage Motorsports in Connecticut. Short oh. summers, long winters. I own an all-wheel drive. In Connecticut, okay. E, all-wheel drive E and cells that I can't stop riding. Nice. I'm going to check that out. Dude, if we're ever up around that area, I'll make sure to stop by and say what's up. I like the name too, though. Your last name is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Savage Motorsports. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like cool an name. awesome name. Yeah, that's I like a really that. good name. Uh, did they You're give born me a cool. <laughs> yeah, I was born with a cool name. Rick said, hopefully the seat doesn't hurt the biscuits on long rides. I'll be checking in for that too. They look okay. It looks okay so far. It looks okay. We'll see. But visual, visual isn't everything. With her gaming, a long time ago before I got my e-bike, I was looking at this bike on Chinese forums. I think the pro model goes 45 kilometers, 27 miles per hour. Okay. Yeah, I would, it's probably definitely. I'm just going to see if it's locked. Hopefully it's not locked. They sent it to me unlocked. Aye, aye, aye. Super 73 SD Mike D asked Shreddy about the carpet we talked about for all of his tools Dude, and screws. I, I keep on bringing that up. Didn't I say that the other day, D? Want one? Yeah, he wants to make one. When we were doing the stream inside the house, I was like, I need one of those. That'd be so dope. Greg Savage, E sells Monarch 1500. AWD. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. That's why I want to take on a couple of lines of these bikes. Heck We're the yeah. number one gas scooter dealer in the Northeast, but want to go green. Oh, nice. Awesome. That's cool. That'll be a fun visit out there. Rip around on, on some of the stuff you guys got over there. Yeah, we'll add you on uh, Instagram after this. Yeah, shoot me a message. Matterhead collection. My parents are sick and don't have a lot more time left with them. Oh, I'm Maybe so sorry to hear. Years. Oh, okay, because they live in Seattle. Uh, so they, yeah. He said he doesn't have a lot of time with his parents right now? Well, he said maybe like six years. Oh. Greg Savage. Okay, I will do that. You guys are great. I was just getting ready to go to bed, and then you popped onto my phone because I subscribed. I'll reach out to you guys. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks Thank for joining you, the stream, and have a good night, brother. We'll be doing another live tomorrow night if you want to jump on. <laughs> Yo, Joe, it's 420. I put in shredding as a discount code. It doesn't work. Shreddy. The, the code is shreddy. Shreddy. Yes. S-H-R-E-D-D-I-E -D -D -E saves a $100. 100 beans. Shreddy, just like his name, Shreddy McSkate, it's just shreddy with the I-E. What's going on Thank with Thank you for asking. If you guys ever have problems with discount codes or links, always feel free to send Shreddy a message. Yep. I'm and here to help. always tag him on Instagram or Facebook when you get your bikes. Okay, so this thing needs to be bent back a little bit. I don't like the way it's... We're making it work, guys. We're making it work. For some reason, this thing's like bent back all weird. And I can't get it. I can't get it. So, so again, we're gonna for people get just joining, do you want to tell them what the bike is again? This is the Frigo F1 Pro. Electric moped. There we go. Sorry, how to get into concentration mode. <laughs> well, Rick has to be up at 3.40 a.m. Rick! Oh, Rick, you can catch Pause the uh, now. moon eclipse. <laughs> the blood moon. Pause the video and now and then go to sleep and wake up in the morning. When you get to work, take a break. Watch the rest of the stream, see if we struggle at all today. Yo, Joe said it's not working. Uh, let me check. We'll send them a message if it's not working and make sure we be. get it working. <laughs> and you're okay. under Frigo's website, right? Yep. <laughs> should be Frigo. Let's check on this discount code for you guys. Yes, yeah, code Shreddy for 100 bucks off. S H R E D D I E. That is correct. Let correct, me just check correct. it. Ooh, I'm gonna have to bleed. You can these, use the link in the description the below. Breaks. 
rear brakes, rear brakes need a little bleeding. I might have to do a little how-to video on bleeding brakes. What else do we got left on this thing? I just got to turn it on and see if it works. Hold on, I'm going to pretend I'm buying a bike and see what's going on. Oh, uh, Dee's checking to see if uh, my link is working. Oh, a little USB port on the battery itself. Charging port there. Very cool, very cool. Adjustable front suspension. I don't think you can adjust the, the rear suspension. It says hot, but it's upside down. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. Does it say 1,000 pounds? I don't even see where to enter a code. Really? Do you? <laughs> Ooh, feels bouncy. Oh wait, let me continue the payment. Here we go. Oh, so if you use his link in the description below, the code is automatically applied. Oh, that's dope. Let's see, can you lock out the suspension? So, um, like, I just use the link in the description under this YouTube video. Click on that, and his discount code automatically applies in the payment section at checkout. Okay, so you can actually lock out the suspension on here and totally unlock it. Super so bouncy. Let me just show and then you. adjust it on the right so side here's here. Here's the video. You just scroll down, hit this link and it will automatically enter his discount code for you at checkout. That's cool, so you don't have to write code shreddy. That's awesome. Yeah, that is good. All right, so the front, what was it, the front rotor that I need to, to bend back to normal? Is that everything? The bike's already really together? I feel like I shouldn't even be done yet. That's crazy, it's done, look at it. It's pretty cool looking for what it is. I like it, I like it. Wither Gaming, how's your Air Rider Grizzly working lately? It's still still working back there. I still got to get the, uh, the full throttle range test out for you guys. I'm going to try to just get this out the way. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's cool. I'll be very safe. Let me move. Oops. Oh. <laughs> oops. I'll be very safe. I'll be very... Oh. Oops. Oops. All right, there we go. I just needed that on my way. Ah. Now we can get back a little bit. What is this? Don't tell me there's mosquitoes. It's November. Uh, keys. Rick said, oh, well, yeah, I'll watch the rest tomorrow. Keys, keys, keys. Yo, Joe, is it on the Frigo website? Yeah, I'm trying right now. Yes, go to the description. Um, in this video, there's a link keys. in the description. You just click on that link, and it takes you to Frigo's website and, and it, automatically puts this code in. Yep, automatically applies a discount for you. Thank you. Why did they even give me a code Dave Sandra, Sandra, is hub motor 750 or 1000 watt? It claims a 1400 watt peak, but I think it's a, it's, I'm, I'm pr I want to say it's a 750 by, by the looks of it. Let me see what we put in the description for that. Yes, 750 watt motor, 14,000 watt peak. 1400, I wish it peaked at 14,000 watt. I mean, this 1400 thing would watt peak, <laughs> 750 watt motor, 48 volt, 22.5 AH battery, full front and rear suspension. Yeah, it feels nice and bouncy. It feels nice and compact. Like it feels like, like a little compact BMXy type bike. I dig it. This let me keep on going back. You see it pretty well. Um, where's the key? Oh, that's to unlock the bike. Oh, oh the, unlock the battery. Oh, let's see what size battery it is. I thought it said 22 amp hour. It might be a 27 amp hour battery. Supposedly, if you buy the, the, the bike, you can get a, a scooter for free. It says electric scooter for free. Buy bike, get scooter free. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> so you really? buy it, you get an electric scooter for free. No way. Yeah. That's awesome. It says buy bike, get scooter free. Hurry, limited time, November 30th, $499 value. After purchase, it, it will be arranged for sub packaging and delivery. No way. That's so cool. That's pretty crazy. All right, so 40, 48 volt, 22.5 amp hour battery, uh, Shimano seven speed. Let's see, 20, 20 inch fat tires, 1400. It says 1400 watt brushless motor, but then at the bottom it says 1400 watt peak. But I don't see anywhere where it says if it's like a 750 watt motor and it peaks at 
whatever. This brakes, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too much else to say about the bike. Let's get it started and. Where do you see if you see buy if a bike, you speed. get a free scooter? Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's on there somewhere, but that's funny. It's like on the bike itself, Frigo USA. Right here, see in the bottom? Oh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Delivery three to eight days, really? Oh my God, it does say that. Yeah, a $400, $500 value. Yeah, if you click on the tires. bike, if you scroll down, it shows buy bike, get free scooter. Limited time to November 30th. Oh my God, that is so cool. All right, I'm gonna turn it sideways, turn on the display, kick the kickstand on, try the little cheat thing to unlock it. Uh, D, can you see the display? I don't know if like, I don't know if I get the power switch. Oh, you switch. want me to look at the display? Power switch is on, display's right here. I'm thinking that's power, but we'll see. All right, let me hum. Power. Do I have to hold it longer? Struggling with shreddy. <laughs> Here we go. All it's right. Alive. It's alive. Trip. Volume. What? <laughs> that's how many miles, I guess. And zero miles on the odometer. All right, so let me put it on the kickstand. I'm gonna lean it this way. And usually speed limiter, it's like kick in and it'll, it'll stop at 50 miles an hour even under load. Oh, it looks like it's, it's unlocked for me. But of course that's under uh, no load at all, 35 miles oh, an 35 hour. 35 miles an hour. But that's not the real speed. It, may, it might be hitting 27, 28 miles an hour. But that's cool to know that it's unlocked. If it was locked, it would have limited right to 15 and cut it right there. So it comes unlocked. But it, it sounds pretty. Listen to the ramp up. I don't know if you guys can hear the ramp up. It's like, woo, like it. Yo, Joe 420 said, okay, it worked. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm waiting to see the max speed. If it's over 30, then I'm going to buy one ASAP. Thanks for the vid. All right, Joe, so you... make sure you subscribe so you can watch his next video where he does the speed test. Yeah, too. definitely. I can't wait to like take it for a little rip out after the stream. Uh, so I just want to tell you guys, when you put it on pedal assist, zero all the way down to nothing, the throttle doesn't work. So you can pedal assist one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Sounds like it's going fast. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how the pedal assist is, like if it kicks in like super crazy. Okay, that's good. If you heard that, it has like a little ramp up. Some cadence sensors are just like, boom, it just kicks in and it kind of, Takes you for a little ride sometimes. But this is the Frigo F1 Pro, guys. We got it put together. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this thing. If you're gonna wait for the review to see if you guys wanna purchase it or if you guys like the bike right now before I even review it. Use code Shreddy, get $100 off your purchase on this, guys. This is a lot of fun. And use the link in the description of the video. Oh yeah, so actually, if you just click on the link, that gives you the $100 off. You don't even have to use code Shreddy. Just click the link down below. It gives you automatic $100 off. Uh, let's turn on the headlight. Actually, I'm going to lift this up because I don't know if it, there's a walking mode on this or not. I'm going to hold the plus button. Okay, so that's the headlight. Oh, nice. The rear oh, light nice. actually gets brighter. So that I love, I love having that. Um, I like when there's a nice bright rear light. And let's see if it has a walking mode. I'm going to hold the minus button. Yep, so hold the minus, it has a walking mode. Can you show us the fastest again? Because you were blocking it last time for them. Oh. Damn, you hear that ramp up? Whoop. I wonder if I can wheelie this thing too. I'm gonna be wheeling like every single bike I own. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so I do gotta get a new rotor. Guys, um, you guys have any more questions? Any, any comments you gotta read? Uh, Matter it said, do you need the soundboard soon? LOL, struggling with Shreddy, like a radio oh, no. station. I want to get some sounds. <laughs> right, that'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Jose Villobos, definitely waiting for the review. Awesome, awesome, so, guys. Yeah, you'll have that out soon. Yep, yep, yep. Is there a lot of comments? All right, cool. Guys, thank you guys for joining this stream. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad, like, we pretty much went 
without a, a hitch actually, so that was pretty cool. Except a little bent rotor, but we can get that fixed and taken care of pretty easy. But uh, guys, if you guys enjoyed that uh, unboxing, definitely don't forget to drop a like and comment down in the comments of the video. That actually helps push out this video to other people so they can check out this bike. Um, so, and if you guys did enjoy the content, also drop a like. Um, Jordi Oliveras, how much is the bike? It is, what I say, $15.99 if you click that link down below. If not, it's $16.99. It's so actually, click, it's, it's just a limited sale of $16.99. Plus, if you click the link below, it adds $100 off for code Shreddy. Yep. So it's $15.99 limited time, and you get a free scooter. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so again, if you guys want to support the channel, please check out that link down below for the Frigo F1 Pro. Again, they, once you click that link, it gets you $100 off. If the Frigo F1 Pro isn't for you, check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. We have some more questions. <laughs> okay, did a lot just come in? Chris, the uh, we'll pilot, oh my God, I finally made it to a live stream. Oh. Fell in, but I still made it. It's all good, we'll stay and answer some more questions if you guys have any. Eric I'm, Gardner, how long does the battery last? I'm excited to try it out. It's a 22.5 amp hour battery, so um, I'm really not sure. We're definitely gonna do tests and everything. And here's a little trunk thing that it came with. Pretty sure it's like screwed in by the bottom down here. Yeah, it's got four screws, little That's little front so nice. trunk. I love that. That's really cool, and I love actually what I really like about it too. It has like a lot of space here. Maybe you can take that off and maybe add like another battery there or something. But there's definitely like a lot of modability you can do with this bike. I think. Okay, people are asking about the battery. How long the battery lasts? It's a 22.5 amp hour battery. I don't know what they claim, but um, my guess is at full throttle going about 28 miles an hour you could probably get maybe 20 oh man i want to say 25 miles maybe more but we're going to see about that we'll, we're, we're going to put this bike to the test and and see what this thing can handle yeah you guys we'll test out the battery for you, those of you guys asking about it mm -hmm, um, definitely we'll test out the battery in his review he does like a full long review speed test and everything oh that's a cool tail light look at it <laughs> I like the design on it. It looks neat. That is cool. I yeah, like that. Yeah, looks dope. Looks like Superman. Yeah. Turn it back this way again. There you go. Matterhead said he wants a weighted blanket review. <laughs> I need a weighted blanket. I'll reveal it for you. <laughs> I'll actually ride with a weighted blanket. I'll probably feel so good and cozy. <laughs> yeah. They said, are the fenders plastic or metal? The fenders are plastic. So that's why I didn't uh, bend them when I flipped it upside down and I was like scrunching them. That's good, so they move around. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, comments by Withered Gaming. Chris Lyons, love it. Any in Canada yet? It, they are, probably ship to Canada. I, yeah. I think they would ship to Canada, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, check out it, um, the link down below. Click on that link and they probably ship to Canada. That was good. I like this bike. Dave, what do you think? Love Give us it. your thoughts. I like it. And I like the size a lot too. Yeah. I don't that think D can cool. fit on it. This thing's a little bit tall with that seat. Yeah, you definitely can't fit on it. It's like almost my I'm waist short. is here. Yeah. yeah, I'm only 5'2", and I like to be flat-footed on bikes, so. Yep. Um, All right, guys. Wither Gaming said, was that a twist or thumb throttle? It's a half-twist throttle here on the right side. And then your that. rear brake is here. I got I to, gotta like, I got to add a little more pressure to these <laughs> brakes. Like a, a lot of people commenting now. <laughs> we'll keep like, answering. Nice. We'll, we'll answer that's good, that's good. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live tomorrow night. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have you guys vote on my YouTube channel. We got the Havsco. We have a Van Powers e-bike and we have an Engway. I think two of these are like mountain bikey type of bikes. The Havsco is actually a torque sensor bike, which is gonna be my very first e-bike that actually has a torque sensor. Every e-bike that I've had ha has a cadence sensor. So we're gonna see if that thing's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, three more days of unboxing. This was the third day of unboxing. Frigo gave to me. A Frigo F1 What Pro. bike do you guys want to see him unbox tomorrow night? Yep, the, the Hopsco. I'll, I'll throw up a little poll after the, the stream is done, and, and then we'll see tomorrow. We'll see you guys again tomorrow night, maybe 7 or 8 p.m. We'll see. And some people are asking the price again? 
It is $16.99, but click that link down below and you get it for $15.99. So that saves you $100 just by clicking the link down below. Yes, the link uh, below in the description of the video applies code SHREDDY automatically and saves you another $100 off their sale that is already for $16.99 and you get a free scooter. <laughs> Is that it? Yes. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next live tomorrow night, guys. Thank you guys for joining. You guys were a lot of fun tonight.